Hey guys, Ryan here. Today, we are going to be doing my top 10 most valuable Funko Pops according to Pop Price Guide. Um, mostly because my most valuable pop, it would definitely be my most valuable pop, um, but the price is not in on Stashpedia, so we're going to be doing it according to Pop Price Guide because Pop Price Guide does have the price in. So, let's get started. So guys, coming in at number 10 at about $70 is Shiva from the newest line of Walking Dead. Um, they definitely are need to pay more attention to walking dead lines like they're paying attention to these stupid lines that nobody's gonna buy like rick and morty people will buy um but there's like these weird ones that I, no one's even heard of and it just doesn't make sense i mean like they i don't know they just need to focus their priorities on more of the stuff that sells and in my opinion walking dead sells very well i mean my Barnes & Noble only has one Walking Dead pop left from the new line, and that is Richard, because the back of the box is, it's literally cut. So it's like, if someone wanted to, they could barely pull it, and it and it's just like damaged all over, you know? It's just got like all those little dings and dongs everywhere, and it's just like, I don't know, this isn't like horrible condition, I don't want to buy it, but I don't even have a Richard, so... I guess I shouldn't be complaining. It's only because I've seen him once, and that was it. Um, I don't have a R Eugene either, but this part right here was, like, ripped out my FYE. I could have picked it up because it was, like, 50% off, but it's just stupid. I don't want a damaged one. Anyways, so at $70, we have Shiva. This thing skyrocketed to about 200 at some point, and then it went back down because of flippers. You know, they got to ruin the value. That's how I see it. I see that they ruin the value because they, you know, they see something going up in value, so they're, like... Oh, better jump on it, you know, throw it in there for 175 Someone will buy mine because I'm the cheapest one. Oh, someone sent it for 175 Okay, I got to bring it down to 160 Someone will definitely buy it. Oh, 150 Oh, better bring it down. You know, they just do that, and then they're ruining the value because people will buy the cheapest ones at 140 and then 120 and then it just decreases from there. But, yeah, so that's number 10. And coming in at number 9, we have Joffrey Baratheon from Game of Thrones, my second favorite show. I almost said my all-time favorite show, but that's this one right here for sure. Um, oh, that hurt. I just hit my finger on the pot protector. Um, I'm thinking about getting rid of my pot protectors because I feel like they cause more damage to pop sometime than protection. I mean, obviously, if you just keep them in there, but if you want to take them out or something... Um, then that's different, and sometimes I do want to take them out and, you know, do other stuff with them. Not, like, take them out of their boxes, but just take them out of their pot protectors, because sometimes, you know, the glare... Like, I want to take good pictures and post them on my Instagram. You guys should definitely follow that at Funko.Ryan, or FunkoRyan.20, or something like that. I'll just put it in the description so you guys know. But, that's really what my new, my new Instagram is, because for some reason... My, I got logged out of my um, Ryan CWD channel one. So that's kind of screwed me over because now I can't, you know. But anyways, so I'll try to get back into it. Um, I'll definitely make an effort. But if I can't, then I'll just leave everything down below. But yeah, so this is my all-time favorite line of Game of Thrones pops. I have the I have Brienne of Tarth, Joffrey, Hodor, Drogon, Ghost, and Viserion. I still need Egret. This is like, that's the one I want the most out of this line. I still need both of the Tywins, the Bloody Brand of Tarth, the Flocked Ghost, Rhaegal, Tyrion with his battle armor, Grey Wind, and the Daenerys Targaryen with her wedding dress. But this is my ultimate favorite line of um, wave from Game of Thrones because it's it's such a cool wave. They expanded it so much, you know. So many new, new characters that were needed. But yeah, so Joffrey Baratheon. Love this pop so much because he's got the crown. He's got the crossbow. They gave him... Two cool details that you wouldn't really expect in a pop that's from 2013. So, yeah, coming in at number 9 at $75 is Joffrey Baratheon. And next up, coming in at 8th and 7th place, however you want to put them, both at $80, um, currently at least, is Viserion and Hodor from Game of Thrones. The most of This line does mostly consist of Game of Thrones pops, but um, there's it expands. It goes throughout my main three collective lines walking a game of thrones harry potter you know got all that cool stuff in there but so yeah the syrian i still i have drogon but i still need Rhaegal. so i really want to look forward to getting that one in 2019 because now that i now that i get money sort of like i, I now that i get paid you know uh 
I can, you know, save up my money for what I want, and I can, you know, buy stuff that I really want. So, I, uh, this, I didn't know that. That's weird, because the, it shows that um, Viserion is in Wave um, Edition 3, right there. But then on the back of his box, it shows that he's in Edition 2. I actually have all of Edition 2, except for Renly Baratheon, so I need to get on that one, because I... That one's really cool, too, because of the design. I love when the pops have crowns. They are very detailed, um, the crowns are, but yeah. And then Hodor, you know, made the ultimate sacrifice, um, saved Bran, so that was definitely well needed. Um, see, what episode was that? Season 6, episode 5 or something? I can't remember. It was season 6, episode 5 or season 6, episode 4. I think it was episode 5, but very, very sad episode. Um, his character lasted a lot longer than most people thought he would, um... But yeah, guys, so this final season of Game of Thrones coming up, I can't wait for it. We need some actual new footage. Like, that little teaser they released, Jesus, I, that gets you excited, and there's no new footage in it. So, um, anyways, here's Hodor. So, I really am enjoying, I really enjoy this pop. Um, I got this for, like, 50 bucks or something. So, I got these for, like, really good deals. Um, yeah, and then they went up in value. Because I know I got this one for, like, 60, and it's at 80 now. So, anyways, let's move on to... The next one's number five. So, guys, number coming in at number six. I know I said number five before, but I'm at number six. I did a little brain fart, but... So, here is the Hound from Game of Thrones. Very, very awesome. Awesome pop. The detail with his little, you know, um, burn on his face because of his brother um, when they were kids, you know. And then the detail on his armor is very, very um, intricate. And this is, what, this is what I want to take out so you guys can see, but careful. Um, the detail on his armor is very, very different from what you'd expect from Funko back then because it's very, very detailed, and you wouldn't expect that from them. And uh, two thousand, this came out in two thousand four. That doesn't make sense at all, because this one came out in two thousand thirteen. They must, it must have been s still getting released. But anyway, so this came out in two thousand fourteen. But this is very, very good detail from whenever this came out. I'm assuming this came out in like two thousand twelve originally, though, because Funko wouldn't release edition three in 2013 and then edition one in 2014 but yeah so coming in at 90 dollars is the hound um we only have three more game of thrones ones and then the uh, you know so anyways there is the hound okay guys and then coming in at number five we have rob stark um he is worth about a hundred dollars right now um i remember this one was freaking me out because I got it for a pretty good deal, but it still was a quite a bit of money. Um, I pay for these pops by myself, by the way, so please don't comment, you know, you're spoiled little brat or whatever, because people do that it makes me want to rip my teeth out, because I pay for these pops by myself. I'm not, it's not even fair to go up to your parents, hey, can you buy me this $200 Funko Pop? I know it seems like a lot, but it's a really good deal, you know, like, you don't do that to your parents, like, they, they do enough for you, you shouldn't be asking them for $2,000. $200 Funko Pops. I pay for these 100% myself, so please don't comment that, um, because it gets under my skin a lot, because I do work for my money, so. Um, anyways, at Rob Stark at 100 bucks, I got this one, and it said it was coming from California, and apparently the person did not live in California, because I messaged them, I was like, where's my pop at? It was about two weeks later, it said it shipped that day that I bought it, and they're like, Oh, sorry, it must be going through customs. I was like, what do you mean customs? It showed that you live in the United States. And he's like, oh, no, sorry, it must have been a little mix-up. I live in Canada. I'm like, dude, really? Because he, he must have only been doing that to get someone, you know, to actually buy from him. Because otherwise, most people probably wouldn't if it's coming from a different um, country. But still, I mean, I'm glad I got it. But he really was trying to get someone to buy it. Um, so... Anyways, he's worth about a hundred bucks right now, and I was crap in my pants because I thought I just lost a good amount of money. But, and then coming in at number four, we have Mr. Incredible at a hundred and ten dollars. This is a different type of pot protector. This is made by Think Geek, not um, Funko, because on the um regular Funko protectors it says pot protector on the top, but the Think Geek ones, um, it doesn't say anything. They're definitely more durable. It feels a little bit more heavy. Um, uh, but they're and they're actually cheaper. They're like six bucks, six ninety nine ish or something like that. These are about seven ninety nine to ten ninety nine, depending on where you buy them. But these are definitely more durable. But the Mister Incredible, I think I'm gonna be getting rid of this one in twenty in twenty nineteen because it doesn't really fit with my collection. 
uh, like obviously, I mean, I know I have the um, Incredibles 2 wave, like most of it, I'm just missing one, I think, two, because the Elastic on Elastic, but um, I'm missing two from that wave, and this just does it doesn't fit with it, and um, I don't know, because I feel like if you're going to get it, you should get the entire line, I don't know why, I'm just kind of like a completionist like that, but I don't know if it really makes sense for me to have it in my collection, because I'm not like a big Disney collector, I mean, I like watching Disney movies, and they're interesting to watch and, you know, fun, but why not sell it and put it towards my Walking Dead or Harry Potter collection or Game of Thrones? Because, you know, those lines have some pretty expensive pops in them, or at least Game of Thrones and Walking Dead do. I'm pretty much taken care of with the expensive Harry Potter ones, but, um, like, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to have this in my collection because I'm not, like, the ultimate Disney collector, you know? like some other people are, so I'm thinking about trading it or selling it. Um, I'm pretty sad with how this value happened, like what happened with the value though, because it was worth about 300 at one point, and now it's worth about 110 So that's not very good for it's holding up its value. Um, People definitely thought it would skyrocket though when the new one came out. It did. I should have just sold it and made the 300 bucks. Been smart about it, because I've always been thinking about selling it. Um, since I've had it, I mean, after I had it for like a few months, because I was like, I don't know if this really fits in my collection, I don't really want to spend $600 on Edna Mode. Obviously that went down, but still, I'm definitely not going to be putting $200 towards an Edna Mode when I could be putting it towards a Game of Thrones Grail or a Walking Dead one. It, just, it doesn't make sense to me at all, because those are my two main, my, th well no, I could, there's, there, Game of Thrones, Walking Dead, Harry Potter equal, but I definitely put them towards Walking Dead or Game of Thrones because those are the ones that have, like, the big girls to buy. So I think I'm going to be getting rid of this one and making a good 100 bucks or so, but if you have anything to trade, like an ad icon, Fungo Pop, Harry Potter, um, I don't, no, I, don't worry about Harry Potter because I'm plenty set on Harry Potter, um, Walking Dead or Game of Thrones, Grail, just, like, a good pop. Go look at my Stashpedia. It's Ryan Martin. I'll put the username in the description, but go check it out. If you guys want to trade this off of me, you, we can work it out. Um, but yeah, Mr. Incredible coming in at $110. So also coming in at $110, I should have just showed it with it, but it is the Harry Potter um, mini three pack, I guess you could call it, um, of the of the creatures with the Cornish Pacey, the Mandrake, and the Grindylo. Um, these came in, this was 2016 um, SDCC. So this is a little bit, um, this is a little different. This isn't what you usually see. Um, they did it this year with the pain and panic, but pretty cool. I'm um, very glad to have it. This is the most expensive Harry Potter pop that there is. That is until they come out with something else. Um, that's worth like, that is limited to two pieces and you know, it's impossible to get like the golden hopper. Um, screw you Funko for doing that. That's a, it's just, just stupid, 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 stupid. It's stupid. <laughs> Anyways, here, I'm going to be so mad if you guys do anything like that for Harry Potter. There's too many completionists for that line, and I would probably, I'd sue you if you did that. But anyways, here is the three-pack for Harry Potter. Um, left, all I need is the Luna Logood SECC one with the glass, oops, with the glasses. I need the flocked Hedwig. I need the regular Hedwig, which I ordered, but it still did not show up, and I ordered it about three weeks. I ordered it exactly three weeks ago today. Um, the Ginny the original one, the Hermione with the Time Turner, the Flock Sirius Black, the regular Sirius, the Flock Sirius Black as a dog, and then the regular Sirius Black as an Azkaban prisoner. Um, I need the Lucy Malfoy with the Prophecy. I need Bellatrix Lestrange in her Azkaban uniform, and I need the Ron Weasley in his sweater, and then I need Cedric Diggory. I need the Dementor, and I need... Um... I need Harry Potter and the Sorting Hat, and then I need the run on the chess piece, and then I'll have everything. That seems like a lot, but it's really not. It's only like 10 or 13. So I definitely will be completing that line this year. So that's something I'm really excited about. But yeah, so this is the three pack for Harry Potter. We'll set that right up there at $110. And then at $115, we have the Game of Thrones three pack of the metallic um, dragons. I need to clean off my pot protectors. They're really like dusty and stuff, but... um. It's the dragons, you know, got Drogon, Rhaegal, and the Syrian. It's a GameStop exclusive. Um, this is the old beard GameStop exclusive sticker right there. But this is actually a really, really cool th three pack. I'm not the biggest fan of when they just do metallic variants, but 
Um, this actually really works in my opinion, even though it makes literally no sense at this show. They look very, very cool. So I'm very happy to have that one. And then coming in at, that's worth about $115, by the way. And then coming in at number one at $380. This thing skyrocketed after I bought it. Um, it's the, what's, I thought this was exclusive to New York Comic Con. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Anyways, NYCC 2018. HBO Shop exclusive metallic children of the forest. Um, yeah, this came. This is from the newest wave of um, Game of Thrones. I have all of them except for Gendry, so I will be hopefully getting that one soon. Well, definitely be getting that one soon. If I don't get it for Christmas, I'll get it with my hot cash. Um, but I'll have to drive further away for my hot topic because my recent one is shutting down actually this Sunday, Christmas Eve Eve. So I'll have to go get that. But I have to go there and say goodbye and everything. But yeah, so here's the Metallic Children of the Forest. Um, I'm very, very happy to get this one. I got it for under $100. Really, really good deal. It's worth about $400 right now. Um, $380, it's hanging at about. But the cheapest you can buy it is like $400 or something, I think, last time I checked. And now it's on like an auction, and auctions always go up. Um, it was like a, um, I don't even know. It was a... I think it had like three days left. It'll go off after three days. But yeah, so this is the Metallic Children of the Forest. This is a personal grail of every Game of Thrones collector. It's pretty hard to get. I need to clean these off and it's really irritating me. Um, but yeah, this is a really hard pop to get now because most people didn't pull the trigger when it was selling for about 65 bucks. Um, and then it went up to about 180, then to 200, then 300, 400. And it's at one point, it was going, like, the cheapest you could buy it was, like, $475. I've seen more people have relisted it. But, yeah, so this is it. Um, Pretty, pretty hard to get right now for any Game of Thrones collector. But that was my top 10 um, uh, most expensive Funko Pops according to Pop Price Guide. This was kind of a longer video. This was pretty long, actually. But, yeah, so thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will be doing a giveaway live stream on Friday or Saturday. So, definitely stay tuned and I was going to do it on the 15th, um, and then I was like, I'll just do it tomorrow on the 16th, and I had two Christmas parties this weekend um, for my family, so I couldn't really, I didn't really have time at all, um, and then I was, I did a live stream on the 17th, which is today as I'm filming, but I'll have to do, I'll probably have to, I'll probably upload this another day, but um, I did a video and I wasn't even ready, because I didn't, I forgot to write down all the names to do like a little th scramble in, in the jar, but um, I'll be doing, I'll be drawing it Friday or Saturday. You don't have to be present, but it would be, it'd be a lot nicer if you were. If you're not, then you're not. Um, just make sure you probably, I'll give you about 48 hours at most. Um, I'll have to determine and I'll tell you guys in the video because, and then if you don't get anything to me, then if you don't like respond or anything, then I'll pick another winner, but make sure that you um, comment on the video saying you know that you won or whatever, but I'll have some more details coming sooner. I'll probably do like a little 30 second video telling you guys giveaway live stream, you know, tomorrow or Saturday or Friday, whatever day it'll be. I'll give you guys probably like a two to three day heads up, um, like a notice. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We are growing and I'm very happy about that. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.